What have I got to tell you today? Well, it's been a bit of a nightmare really for the past nearly two weeks. <laughs> what the f is this about? There was one point where I was thinking, what have I done? Are we ready for some shopping? <laughs> oh wow. Everybody is raving about this set. That looks alright, doesn't it? It looks pretty snazzy that, doesn't it? Don't forget. Do you need your dancing bag or not? No. No? Oh, yeah. Love ya. Bye. Bye, bye. Do you want me to walk you in? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I've got my coffee to go. This was such a great little investment, buying a plastic reusable cup from Starbucks. The amount of times that Ryan makes me a coffee to go and I don't end up buying one out. Little wins. Anyway, it's Wednesday. Just dropped the girly off at dancing. What have I got to tell you today? Well, got my new jacket on. My sherbet orange jacket. I love it. It's my favourite spring purchase so far this year when it comes to like, you know, fashion-y bits. I love the colour um, and I've already told you about it and I've already shared it on my Insta. This is the second time I've worn it and uh, yeah, I just love sharing these finds when I believe that they're not fast fashion and not fast fashion for me is not just the way that it's produced, it's how long it's going to stand the test of time in my wardrobe and I always ask myself, would I have worn this 10 years ago? yeah can i see myself wearing it in 10 years time yes if those two questions are a yes generally means it's a good piece to buy and do you know what i'm just putting these in now because i've been in a bit of a rush this morning but these earrings some of the first pair that i got from anna louisa who i do work with go perfectly this is not an ad this video but i'm just telling you because i love them they go perfectly with the buttons on this jacket yeah love it so i've got it on today with cream jeans just a t-shirt underneath trainers in a dead casual way but also this is great for some cream tailored trousers with heels a little cream knitted vest top underneath or over the top of a summer dress um it's great for color clashing this color because it goes with lilac one of my favorite color combinations which i don't actually have a lot of so lilac and peachy coral lovely it goes with pink it goes with green so yeah just a fab piece anyway i'm gonna stop going on <laughs> about this jacket now um what else have i got to tell you so we got the dog spade and uh it's been a bit of a nightmare really for the past nearly two weeks so at first sugar was doing amazing like three days in and we were like wow you know she was just a happy jolly self didn't seem to be irritated by anything um and the first few days sylvia was the one that was just really sad and depressed so we ended up taking the cones off them we checked with the vets and she says yeah as long as they're not like messing with their wound down here it's fine so kept an eye on them took the cones off instantly as soon as the cone came off sylvia she was the happiest dog ever instantly back to a normal self um and then at that point like three days sugar started to turn so she was the one that came massively depressed she was going downstairs to our bedroom just sleeping all day not wanting to interact with us hating sylvia like it got to the point where we couldn't even have them in the same room if they even just glanced at each other they would growl at each other she was just so not herself anyway went to the vets uh, a couple of days ago for the stitches removed and whatever and i said the symptoms to the vet and the vet just looked at it and went mm, yes she's got milk uh there and which like straight away it made sense because we'd been smelling this smell and stuff but just not pieced it together um so yeah sugar is having a phantom pregnancy which explains it all why she's been so depressed and fighting with sylvia so we are slowly getting our dog back now because she's on these um this medication and um yeah 
it's fine. I had to basically make her fast for a full day. She was only allowed water, which was tricky. And then on the next day was when I started her meds. And slowly we're getting a dog back and they are fighting less. Here's what I've been putting up with. I'll pop a clip in. It might make you jump, so I apologise. But this is just a little taster as to what we was dealing with for a couple of weeks. You've got your little dentist sticks. Now be nice to each other. Where's yours, eh? That's it. Sugar. You being a nice girl? You've got my lipstick on your head. Haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is this about? That's enough. So yeah, as you can imagine, I am very happy to be finally getting my dog back because there was one point where I was thinking, what have I done? Is this it now? Have I messed with the hormones and now they suddenly don't like each other? I think what was happening was Sugar was obviously very grumpy and mardy and giving off these strange motherly hormones. Sylvia was like, hey, where's my mate gone? I like a bit of playtime. What's up with you? Sort yourself out. And she was like jumping on Sugar to say like, come on, come on. And Sugar was just like, no stay away from me so it was just breaking out into a fight all the time but it has stopped so moving on it's the morning it's wednesday morning nancy's in dancing for a little while the shops haven't quite opened yet i need to go to i'm gonna go to sephora and try and get some um i want some uv protection spray for my hair because we're having quite a few sunny days now and i don't want to ruin all this effort that I've been doing with my hair like all the oil treatments and all the you know stuff that I've been doing to try and get it in a good condition I don't want to ruin it just by the sun um burning it so I've got like heat protection sprays for when I style it at home but I haven't actually got a sun uv protection spray so that's what I'm going to try and get I'll let you know if I find one um what else I promised Nancy that we could go for a little look around the shops after she's finished dance because like I said it's getting warmer now and it's quite difficult in a school morning because they don't have school uniforms so as soon as the seasons start to change it's like oh whoa we suddenly need new stuff and as she's getting older she's getting a lot more picky with her clothes I think as well what doesn't help is the age that they're at like if she goes to school wearing something and it's just that funny age with girls into it like kids in general can just be so mean if somebody says something about something she's wearing she might turn her nose up it then and not wear it which is annoying this is where i miss school uniform in the uk it just made life so much simpler and it's a it's a weird one because i do understand that kids should be allowed to wear what they want it's a way of expressing the self it's a way of showing their personality who they are making them feel comfortable but then also you've got this side of it where it's just yeah so anyway we're going to go and have a little look around the shops um see what she likes maybe try some bits on because i never really know what size to get her at the minute either because she's tall but she's quite narrow so i want to size up because of her tallness but then also yeah so we're going to try a few bits on, get her a few bits uh, or ideas so I can get her some bits for Easter because Easter's approaching and um, she's not a huge fan of tons of chocolate. I know, weird kid. <laughs> but um, she likes chocolate but in very small amounts so the thought of getting lots of chocolate for Easter she's just like Ugh. So I usually get him some other bits, you know. And yeah. I'm going to go for a walk, for a browse, then it'll be time to pick her up, then it'll be time for another browse. Seth's at home with Rye having his French lesson, and that is our Wednesday so far. Is it that one? Is it got 
UVA heat protection, yeah? Oui, yes. Ah, perfect. Uh, wall protection, UV, I can this. Perfect. It's UV protection primer. Maybe I have the after. Primer one. That is this. That one, yeah? Yeah. Very kind. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. What did you get from Sephora? What did I get? Some treats. Some hair treats. I'll show you when we get to the car. Oh, you itched your nose on my jacket. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, go to a Gallery Lafayette. Gallery Lafayette and Zara. Yeah, and coffee shop. And coffee shop, yeah. for not a coffee. No, <laughs> you can have a coffee. I've had my coffee this morning. Oh. I had a coffee to go. Oh, well, then the balloon on the tree. You want to nip to the boulangerie? Yeah. Oh, what are you fancying? Are you not sure? Yeah. Or we can go to the sushi shop. Sushi shop? Yes, yeah, sushi shop. Ooh, wow, best. this girl knows what she wants. I know that I want sushi today. Sushi? No. She, there's usually a little doggy that stands in that window. There he is, look. Look at oh, the little dog. That's so cute. Hello. <laughs> look at its little face. <laughs> Come on then. Say bye. Bye, lovely. Oh, Ooh, Sandro. <laughs> what they got in? Wow, I love that shop so much. Look at that jacket. Wow, love that. Comes with a matching bag. Love it. little jumpsuit with the cut out bits so it shows a little bit of tummy at the side I love that I love it yeah it's nice isn't it yeah it's super nice I love that well that's a dress like that's the same look like with the little cut out bits cute I don't think that would be my favourite to iron now you like the little crop top what about some like more casual stuff for school as well though? Yeah. My favourite. Like it. Just to my Ooh. Just like me. Such a nice cup. The other hat that they've brought out, what well, you might be able to get in your size because the others are a bit big, aren't they? So this one's six to nine. I got you the bigger size, which was uh, 10 to 14. You used to have a big head when you was a baby. It must have gone to normal size now. <laughs> Try that one on. It's a bit difficult because you've got your bun in, isn't it?
peeking. Excuse me. <laughs> Memorize. Memorize, but you're not having them till Easter now. <laughs> Blush anymore? No, it's too wow, is it a bit too little for you now? Oh, we had some fun with Billy Blush though, didn't we? You would have loved that at one point with the donuts on. Do you remember? Oh no, bye bye, Billy Blush. Nancy's now too old. Sun visor's cute though. Oh, yeah, yeah, the sun visor's really cute. Try that on. That one goodbye, Billy Bush, to some Over the bun? Oh, it's a bit big. <laughs> it is. Isn't it? Can you alter the size? Uh, no. Oh, is that a big size? I could wear that to a six year old's birthday. You would have loved that, wouldn't you? I actually do love it. I do love it secretly. Yeah, secretly. Wait, in the matching top. Matching jacket. Oh. Oh wow. That's um, some glittery. That's a memorable outfit. What a place to have a dump. <laughs> Nancy. I'm eating. What a place to have a dump. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> she said a big poo. Let's hope no one stands in that. <laughs> oh, look at this sushi girl. You wish came true. She actually dragged me here, didn't you? Please, Mum, please, can I have sushi today? Please. What you got in there then? Oh, I love those little, um, the beans, the peas. That one's got avocado in it. Do you like avocado? In sushi. I, I think you like avocado, but just not large amounts of it, don't you? Like, not on its own. by showing you what I picked up from Sephora the other day and also I've got some new goodies from the chemist like really good skincare products to show you as well ignore the boy in the background he got his new gadgety thing last night so he is absolutely loving life I'm ready for the day because we've got friends coming over in an hour actually for a little afternoon soiree and I'm really really chilled because I prepped all the food yesterday. I'll show you that as well. Anyway, front room, don't be spying. Not much has changed. We've got the um, brackets for the curtain poles on order because the curtain poles are not like your average size because we've got antique ones. So they're quite thick. So we've ordered brackets, waiting. Uh, so obviously I can't get my curtains up and um, yeah, I need a bit of art Why? and I've got some cushions and stuff on order so there's not much Dad, to see at the minute it? which why is why I've not that? updated yet on the front why room. But anyway, let me show you some goodies. And I need to paint my door out as well. I'm going to leave the reverse side of it pink. You know the side that you see from the outside. I'm just going to paint the um, internal part cream I think. Anyway. Sephora, so as you probably saw I got my Bumble and Bumble UV heat protection spray, smells really good, um, I can't report on the product yet because obviously it's new but it smells lovely, I've put some in today and then um, these are chemist bits so I'll save them until after, um, the 
woman in the shop said that everybody is raving about this set at the minute. I didn't need it because I've just bought a new shampoo and conditioner. Um, but I'm a sucker for products and I can kind of justify it at the minute because I haven't been going to the salon so I just think put all that expense that I was paying for the salon into my hair care products, you know? It'll be like four months. I, w I last went to the salon, I last had colour on my hair in middle of December. So I'll do an update soon. Anyway, the products that I got is this Drunk Elephant range. So this is a Happy Scalp Scrub, which is supposed to be super good. I'll link everything that I show you below. I'll put it all in the description box. Um, so apparently you start off with the scrub and then you go with the glossing shampoo and then you go in with the heat protection UV spray. Um, she said that they were super popular and I took a word for it. I was sold. So that's my hair a bit sorted out and from the chemist i'm gonna link a video below in the description box because one got recommended to me and it was amazing ryan yeah i think david's at door hon oh david i think so there's a video that i watched it got recommended to me and it was fab it's this doctor she's french american she knows the stuff she knows all the stuff about skin and i'm obsessed with her videos at the minute and honestly she's gonna cost me an absolute fortune because she recommends the best french pharmacy skincare products um so i bought two of the products that she recommended which is this one first which is a really deep uh moisturizer it's good for a makeup primer before you put your makeup on it's just super hydrating moisturizing good for sensitive skin even good for baby skin things like that so i bought that one um and then i got this now i have spent an absolute fortune on retinol products um in the past medic a i love medic a and i know there's different types of retinol this lady talks about that as well in her video which i will leave below and this is from the french pharmacy um it's not out on display you have to ask for it behind the counter and it's 14 euros it was 14 euros and honestly the tiniest bit goes a really long way it is strong she says it's strong and it is strong like the first night that i put it on i went slopping it on my face and i woke up early hours of the morning and i had to come and wipe it all off because i just wanted to scratch my face off so be careful and then one that she didn't recommend but the lady in the pharmacy did recommend was i wanted a really good high uv protection cream for my face now it's getting warmer obviously um this is a factor 50 i will link it down below in the description box um but apparently that's the one to have so there you go just thought i'd share that most of us on here are women and yeah i love my skincare i love my bits and bobs shall i show you what i've prepped for friends coming over i did loads of it yesterday i didn't vlog because i was just on this crazy mission to get it done i was up till like midnight just finishing off yeah. um so i've done a lasagna which i know uh, lasagna it's like i don't know no. everyone loves it but i feel like it's a bit of a cop-out meal because it's so easy to make no. but I do love lasagna, so I made a good lasagna which is in the oven at the minute. I've got a graze board to put together in a moment and I've also done a cheesecake last night, that's what I was up late making, that's been in the fridge overnight and I've got a jam roly poly ready to go in. Not because they taste amazing, it's more for the like nostalgia jam roly poly. Yeah, roly -poly anyway, I'll show you. I've got the Easter decks down ready to put out. I'm sure the girls can do that later this afternoon. We've got Sylvia here baking in the sunshine. Hey, I picked up this as well from my grace board. I thought that was really good from a shop over here called Casa. Um, so I'm just gonna put everything on there. Got these little bowls from Maison Demand with the bunnies on. And then this one was from a shop called Flying Tiger. And these little bunnies as well were from Maison Demand. So we've got the lasagna cooking away. Oh, 
steamy, steamy, steamy. Lasagna cooking away in there. And then we have got cheesecake here. This is a lemon and lime cheesecake. I think it's gonna be good. It's got a really thick biscuit base. I'll leave the recipe that I used down below in the description box, but it's the no bake one this time. Jam roly poly, all prepped, ready to go in the oven. And I need to get on now and make this graze board. I've done some hard boiled eggs, transferred them into ice water. So I'm gonna peel them in a moment. I hope they've turned out all right. Love this, tomatoes, basil, and mozzarella. I'm gonna put some of my fave, the good stuff from that gorgeous uh, farmer's market. Olive oil, drizzle. That'll do. And squirty balsamic. Voila, voila, looks all right, doesn't it? Now to fill this. with us as always hope you enjoyed hope you've got the full easter feels in fact it might be easter sunday when this video goes live so happy easter everyone i hope you all have an amazing one sending loads of love see you soon bye